This week in Jamaica Now, Finance Minister announces $1 million threshold for all PAYE workers come July 1, but consumers will be paying more for cigarettes, petrol and departure tax. Empty oil tanks making up the most valuable exports from Jamaica to Trinidad and Tobago. The latest following a collapse of a section of the Royalton Hotel site in Negril and a St. James mother and her 12-year-old son killed in suspected case of mistaken identity in a reprisal. The details of these and other stories coming up after the break. It's the Great Exhibition, Jamaica's Gleaner 180, an epic journey with the people politics, sports, culture, and so much more. Reliving the moments, recapturing the mission. Jamaica's Gleaner 180, chronicling Jamaica's history. Get your copy today at the Gleaner's main offices in Kingston, Montego Bay, Ocherius, and Mandeville, or at the RJR Gift Shop, 32 Linters Road, Kingston 10. I'm Carlene Brown, and this is Jamaica Now. Jamaicans earning more than a million dollars a year will be taking home an additional $8,489 a month starting July 1, following the first of a two-phase increase in the income tax threshold. The Finance Minister, Rodley Shaw, in opening the budget debate on Thursday, said Phase 2, which will move the income tax threshold to $1.5 million, will take effect on April 1 next year. Then say if you can't afford it one time, phase it in! Phase it in! And Mr. Speaker, that is what we are going to do. Meanwhile, the government is giving up $12.5 billion in potential revenues in order to increase the income tax threshold to $1 million. And so on Thursday, Mr. Shaw announced a $13.7 billion. And the opposition leader, Portia Simpson Miller, has rejected the tax plan, arguing that it will further burden the poor. Frankly, we are disappointed because we believe that the poor should be protected no matter what program a government is going to be coming with, the poor should be protected. However, economist and university lecturer Dr. Damien King says the tax plan is a good move. And the finance minister has highlighted staggering data indicating that empty oil tanks valued at $117 million represent the highest volume of exports from Jamaica to Trinidad and Tobago from January to April this year. Over the period, Jamaica exported items totaling $178.9 million to the Republic but imported goods worth more than $13 billion. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says the government will be examining its internal capabilities to properly supervise large construction projects following Tuesday's collapse of a section of the Royalton Hotel construction site in the Grill Hanover, injuring five workers. A 30-day stop order has been placed on construction and an expanded government team is investigating the incident. Meanwhile, following the release of a preliminary report detailing a series of breaches, the Incorporated Master Builders Association of Jamaica says this is the fifth collapse at a hotel site being constructed by foreign contractors. It wants a new policy to facilitate Jamaican contractors for such projects and the Jamaica Environment Trust is demanding accountability, saying it told the authorities about the breaches from as early as January this year. Police investigators are reporting that the early morning reprisal murders of 49-year-old Yvette McLean and her 12-year-old son, Devontae Houghton, at their home in Tucker St. James, might have been a case of mistaken identity. In the meantime, in a separate matter, the police are still searching for clues into the shooting death of District Constable Lewis Robinson outside a nightclub along the Lacovia Main Road in St. Elizabeth on Monday morning. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at online feedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Carlene Brown and as we go, reactions to the government's tax plan. We should have $7 dollars now on gas. Yeah, them should have put it on the, the rum. Because we don't have to drink rum, but we have to drive car on road. We have to trust the, 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 the economic directorate of the country because I think they would have um, summoned people who could advise them appropriately 
as to whether this was going to have um, negative political implications, negative social implications. I don't feel no way with that tax that they put on the, the gas. Because the country have run and the country have run gone. The rippling effect that that is going to have on our society right now, I know Mr. Biggs up there, so him not going to feel it, but all of you in the street, are we are feeling it. I do not like labor rights because labor rights come from make the poor people them suffer, them tax gas and them tax cigarettes and all of the poor people them are going to suffer. This is not prosperity. This is disaster. So I run the politics, I run the mouth and say more cut down tax. I get more to my mouth. Chicks in my chicks people because I know that can't work. Mr. Sean needs to know what he's doing and think about us because he must remember the hundred and hot that he's talking about and the two hundred and hot people that he's talking about that is going to benefit. Right? And of them alone game work. The majority is a poorer class. They are the ones who put him on the seat. And he has to remember those people. And he has nothing, nothing at all concerning them. And that's not fair. That's ungratefulness. Thank you.